All right, students, so we're going to talk about how you build your cell project. Make sure you watch this video, and then you start building your project. Um, the first thing you'll need to do is download the cell project instructions worksheet. This is also the same worksheet that I'm going to use to grade your project. So if you follow it exactly the way it tells you right here, you should get your A. So if I look through this worksheet, I'm going to zoom in, make it bigger. And here are a couple things what it tells us. Um, it gives you the introduction, um, part one, which is a re research project worksheet you should already have finished. And um, the, it already tells you, we already talked about how to do that in the previous tutorial. Um, your blueprints, which you should already have done. And now we're going to build the cell. So this is where we need to look at. So every part must have three components. Um, you must label it must have a brief function description and it will contain an action part where your model must demonstrate a certain function to receive points. So let's let's talk about that. So for example, um, as you build your, your project, make sure you have all these things, A through A through K. Now L and M, it depends on the type of cell you have. So M is only for if your, your cell has a chloroplast and cell wall, which would be like plant cells. Um, cilia or flagella, like it might have a flagella if it's a sperm cell, or it might have cilia if it's an intestinal cell or something like that, depending on the cell that you have. Um, so let's go through those. So cell membrane, you need to have the phospholipid bilayer. Remember that what the bilayer does, it's, it's a barrier and blocks certain things. So you want to show when you build your um, uh, phospholipid bilayer on the, on the cell membrane section, which is on the bottom part. And again, go back to your blueprints on how you're going to build that. It's on the bottom part. Um, you want to show certain things trying to get in and but not being allowed to. So maybe like charged um, ions trying to get in, but they can't. Or big items trying to get in, but they can't get in. So that's how you would show the action. Now, it doesn't have to be... When I talk about action, I, I don't mean that your cell has to be mechanical and it's got to be moving live, you know. No, I don't mean like that. It just means that um, the way you're building it, you should be showing certain things happening, like snapshots of it. So what does that mean? So I'm going to build a cell membrane, and I just want to have maybe a molecule trying to get in. And that right there shows the action. You're going to be explaining it, describing what's happening. But it doesn't have to be mechanical where it's moving on its own, that's not what I mean by action. It's got to be in the action of doing something. So carbohydrate receptors, you'll research what that is online, but um, receptors are, again, proteins where on the surface of your carbohydrate, where, uh, sorry, on the surface of your cell, where something is trying to land on it, and it'll maybe be a signal molecule or a hormone. So you'll have carbohydrate receptors. Um, again, carbohydrates, uh, molecules that, might look like a little Y and things are landing on it um, to communicate with it. Again, you can look at look that up online, uh, Google it, and you can get better ideas of how you would build that. A cholesterol steroids, remember what they do is they keep the cell membrane intact. Just make sure you have cholesterol steroids there. Um, active transport, you got to be able to show all these in, in the act. So I'll show you... Um, there's a student named Andy Pacas who made a, a video explaining all that, so I'll upload that, and you can watch his him explain the cell membrane and um, how he showed action through his project. So again, make sure you have all these as well, having all these occurring. And you want to use it as a checklist. You should make sure you're checking everything, that you have everything in there. So let's go to mitochondria. How are you going to show the mitochondria? Well, you know what it does. It breaks down glucose with the help of oxygen. So you want to sh show your mitochondria, build your mitochondria, and show oxygen entering. You could do it with arrows and show uh, glucose entering or pyruvate entering. And then you can show ATP being made. You can just show like a symbol of energy and ATP, water, and carbon dioxide coming out. So that's how you would do that. That's just a basic e explanation. Lysosomes, again, you want to show a lysosome in action. It breaks down and recycles unwanted substances. So you can have, again, um, Andy's, and you can see Andy's video as an example. And again, you just want to go through all these, show all the actions. I'm not going to talk about each of them, but they're self-explanatory. Just make, make sure that you're showing that happen, happening. Uh, let's go to part N. This is a very important one. 
you want to show your entire cell like performing its function. So, like for example, if it's uh, let's say it's a heart cell, somehow in it, how can you show that it's contracting? And some students have done creative cells where they'll make the cell expand and contract, and so that's the fun the function of the uh, of the heart cell. Or maybe it's an intestinal cell and nutrients are being absorbed and so they go in from one side and then they go through the other and then they get into the blood. Or maybe it's a lung cell and oxygen is getting into the alveoli. Or, you know, maybe it's a, a cell that makes mucus and so, you know, your cell might release mucus and release a liquid or something. So make your cell do something. Um, a creative one if for like the beta uh, for the beta cell of the pancreas, a student showed it making insulin and releasing insulin out of the cell. And so insulin proteins were being released. That was really cool. So again, you could do all sorts of things depending on what the function is. And again, if you have any questions, again, about your function of, the, of your cell, I can give you some ideas. Just send me an, a message to my inbox and I'll give you ideas on that. Um, oh, part O. Oh. Explain how the four molecules are incorporated into your cell and their building blocks. So, so for that one, that means like your cell is going to have everything in there. It's going to have nucleic acids. You're going to be pointing to the DNA, right, in your cell, in your nucleus. It's going to have proteins. Uh, again, proteins are going to be made uh, from your ribosomes. So you're going to be talking about that. Uh, lipids, you know, they're made in, they're in the cell membrane all over the place. Lipids are constantly in your cell. And, um, you're going to be breaking down fats for energy. And uh, and carbohydrates. I mean, the carbohydrates are everywhere. You can show carbohydrates getting in there into your cell for energy. You can show carbohydrate receptors and things of that sort. Now, bonus points. So what would you do to get bonus points? Maybe you, ha you have your cell do something really interesting that no other cell is doing. Um, but this is where you go above and beyond. And again, you can inbox me f with uh, any uh, ideas that you have. And if you want me to check with it, uh, check that you're going to get points we can talk about that other bonus point ideas um, can be like for example you um, including a video clip and your presentation or you know you uh, doing extra research above and beyond the required amount um, but making yourself do something interesting or something creative with yourself now I don't want to give you any ideas and just copy that so I want you to be creative on creating that don't worry about cell presentation we get to that later but let's look at some examples now of how students have built their their cell and what materials you can use. Again, you can use any any materials. Here's an example of a bone cell. And again, you can see that this student followed the requirements. Um, what this student did is he doesn't have the information here. He actually built a little portfolio and put the information there. He felt it just didn't fit all onto his poster board. But he has all the organelles here. They're all labeled, and they all have the functions. And he just put numbers by each of them so that they can correspond to his little legend here. You got the cell membrane here. You got the organ that it's from. It's a bone cell, so it comes from the bone. He even talked about the different cells that the bone cell has. And here he built his cell. And... And everything's in there. So let's look at another example here. This student built a glial cell, and here's a cell membrane, and everything is pretty much there. Now, what's missing is the actions, and you, it's really hard to see because the cell was very small. You couldn't see the actions happen. You couldn't see the mitochondria breaking glucose and the Golgi um, modifying packaging and secreting proteins. You want to be able to see all that. So that wasn't here. He lost some points for that. Let's look at an intestinal cell. Now this student uh, pretty much did most of it in there. Uh, it's got the carbohydrate receptors receiving molecules. Um, it's uh, absorbing nutrients. It's showing it's coming from the intestine. So here's the small intestinal wall, and you're zooming into one of those cells in the intestine. Uh, cell membrane over here, so good job over here. And again, what materials are they using? I mean, you can be creative. You don't have to always use styrofoam. Um, you can use Play-Doh. You can use um, clothespins. You can use cotton. I mean, be as creative as you want. I mean, and any you can use anything. Here's a kidney cell. Um, again, here's the organ that it comes from. We're zooming in from the kidney, and here's 
the renal cell, uh, again, the student lost some major points here because, as you can see, where's your cell? It's not even in your... The board was great. Everything was great, but we missed a lot of points because their, their cell is not there. Uh, here we have a thorough one. Now, this is what I mean by actions. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see some detail here. So this student actually showed uh, got extra points because the student is showing the the skin cell going through mitosis so it's actually going through prophase metaphase anaphase telophase um, so because the cell, skin cells constantly divide so this student wanted to really enforce that that the skin is constantly fixing itself multiplying and everything and so that student got uh, points for that but let's look here like let's look in the nucleus you can see all the chromosomes in there um, you can see uh, glucose, look at glucose coming in, oxygen coming in, ATP, water, and carbon dioxide coming out. That's what I mean by show the action. Don't just have a mitochondria here. You want to also show that it's breaking down glucose, and you can clearly see that. We even have an ATP star right here showing energy. Uh, so you can see all those things happening. Here you can see a protein being modified and, and uh, packaged. You can see um, a lysosome break down toxic substances. You can see ribosomes make proteins. Again, be creative on that. And one more example here. Here's another skin cell. Um, and it's just I wanted to show you what the boards look like. Now, you don't, don't need a poster board like this, but you can always you can do that, but it's just more for you to carry. But you could see the cell and all the organelles. Now, what this student wanted to do differently was to, what you see what this student did is, the student put all the organelles here, um, put the names and the functions, but also put the action here. So she actually built an organelle um, and put it next to the label. And so, again, all the organelles are here, but she actually was able to get into the actions a little bit better because she was able to make them bigger here and do all the actions there. So, again, it's doing what it needs to do. It's breaking down glucose, for example, here. I think this is a lysosome. It's breaking down unwanted substances. Here's a vacuole. She's showing that it stores enzymes. So she got a bag filled it with water. Again, that's how you're showing the action. So this student did it in a different way, where she put all the organelles and their actions, functions, and labels all here. And that way she can just build her cell there and not worry about having that much detail in here, but doing it over here. So there you go. So once you've got your blueprints ready, um, you can start building your cell, get creative, make sure you follow the checklist. Do not forget you want to follow this. You want to make sure you have everything on here. Again, A through A, uh, A through K, and then don't forget N, O, and P.